morning, how are you? Good. Oh, that's good. I'm all prepared to come up. Yeah. I've got all my, my, my ammunition with me. <laughs> that's good. <coughs> yeah. What's that? Have you heard from Puro Hoes? No, Puro Hoes. Puro still in Japan, but <coughs> that's, that's, uh, that's the latest is that we have a hui on the 25th to the, to the 27th. I, I've, I've, been in touch, I've been in touch with uh, Manahi and, and um, uh, Bundy all the time. Yeah, so they're telling me uh, how things are running up there. And How's everything going? Good? Yeah, good. They're bang on. Well, <coughs> I haven't heard anything from them, Doc. No, no, you wouldn't because um, uh, it's always going to be like that for a little while until we get our foot hold um, on the 28th. But we're going to be framing the laws there uh, on the 25th and 26th. And 27. No, at at, at Porahove, at Porahove. We're having a yeah, yeah, yeah. On the 27th, we we go across and stay stay overnight. So we'll we'll be prepared with everything finished. Yeah, no, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, but you pick me up, eh? Oh, uh, yeah, no, 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 <clears throat> I can always sleep there. Uh, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out when I get there. But I'll come back to your place, I'll, I'll come back to your place uh, when we have a, uh, when, when, you know, when uh, they're going to have a rest from, the, from it all. That's if you're going to hang out there all them day. Because if, cause if, it, if, it, if it, you can always... Eh? Uh, 11, I'll just check with the, the, the ticket, hang on, I'll just have, I should have got that little thing out, um, I'll just check, hang on, uh, it's about 11, <clears throat> because it gets to, um, it gets to Pai here at about 11.30, so, yeah, that bus, that huh? Bus yeah, on the road, on the main, on the main road, there's, oh, we there's, had those coffee things in there. no, you know, it doesn't go into Kaukau, it stops on the corner of the main road going to Pai here, on the left. Yeah. That's the park, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the park. Hang on, I'll just have a look what time. I, I think it's uh, my, my numbers. Info. Um, uh, uh, John, we're very, oh, shucks, we're, oh, no, I can't find my thing. Um, I'll, I'll, no, it's, it's, it, it always gets there at 11 o'clock. Uh, no, you see my, you see my car, it's still got those the red, three on it. The blue one? You know my car, the black car? Oh, the black car, yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, but the frames on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's all right, but it, it, it'll turn up there. It'll, it always turns up there at that time. Um, yeah, I'll be about 10, call it about 10. Uh, no, I, I think it might be a... A little later, I'm trying to find my, my, my... Oh, you can ring when you get close to me. Yeah, 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 I will, I will. I'll get your number, I'll just, I'll just call yeah, you, yeah. I'll just call you so that... How long does it take for, from your place? <coughs> how far are you from Porterhouse? Oh, half an hour. What's the name of the place where you are, the area? Oh, Taiki. Oh, that's right, I thought so. Uh, yeah. 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 Um, so, no, no, I'm all prepared to go. Um, I've been doing a bit of work here to make sure we've got everything in place to, to make sure we get Cook Street. <coughs> to make sure we... Eh? To make Yeah, so <laughs> Yeah, yeah, now he's the, he's now the chairman of Air New Zealand and he's the chair he's the chairman 
of the AZ Bank now, my bank. Something's screwy going on. That's why he was swinging his golf stick in Auckland, uh, but he stays in Australia. <coughs> he sold all his, he sold all his house and everything and shifted. <coughs> That's right. <coughs> That's right. What's that? He, no, well, he's got the he's got the A and Z Bank. He didn't get the big bank, but he's got A and Z Bank, Australia, New Zealand. He's, Who is our money then? Which bank is our money then? The A and Z, the bank he's in. The bank that <coughs> see what what happens is he's liable to A and Z and liable to A New Zealand. He's a director on A New Zealand, and he's a, he see they've stuck him. He's the main man for the whole world. They've stuck him as, as the chairman of, of the ANZ Bank and they've, they've made him a director in, in New Zealand to promote tourism and their business and their private business. You know, mate, you know, they say, but well, we don't have that money, that good thing in, in Auckland. Yeah. And those two are close to the Queen. What's that? You know, we don't have that money, they're good thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Bundy sent them. <coughs> Bundy, Bundy sent them, but <coughs> I, I, I leave everything till, till it's finished, gone through Te I put I put the things we've done through Te Timarai. That's where the authority is in Te Timarai. You see? No, no, no. No, we don't have we don't have grievances in what we do. We 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 have bill debts straight to Britain to go and make them pay us and go and arrest them. The British military will do it because they are partner. They want to cut in what we're saying. <coughs> we got our we got our own authority. We we don't have nothing to do with the Queen. We got nothing to do with the Queen. That's what I'm saying. This is a King's Bench Court, not a Queen's Bench Court. We're, we're, we're building the Queen's Bench Court from the King's Bench Court. The original. They couldn't do without a King. You see? Oh, that's good. They, uh, they, well, we'll see you when you come up. Yeah. Yeah. Hey? I'll wait till you come up and we'll have a wee at Yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah when, 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 when the hui finish, uh, we'll just go home. But we'll see how long it runs for. As long as I, I get the, the thing passed, that's all I care. <coughs> at at I, I want, I want, I'm going to make sure they pass the frame laws that I'm making for us in, in Auckland. And then they're framing the laws for the Whakamenia. So that's another matter that they're doing. So that's... <coughs> Bundy and them are framing the, the Whakamininga laws so that they can enforce them. <coughs> you see? You see? That's the upper house in, in Titi. That's the upper house in Titi. So they have to frame the laws there, then take them to Titi, then push them, then force them, enforce them. <coughs> so that's how it works, uh, uh, Morris. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, that our uh, authority uh, is over there in Titi. At least, you know, at least, at least we, 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 we try, we do something for them. Yeah. And we are doing something yeah, positive. We, we are doing something positive. We are going to do something. And, and we've got an audience from Britain and all over the place watching us pull this one through. They've, they've been waiting yeah. for Maori for a long time with that flag to make it work. You see? It's the flag, yeah. the flag do the talking. With the flag being dead all this time. <coughs> That's why. <coughs> the flag has had no... I'll, 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 I'll see you on Wednesday then, eh? Okay, okay. I'll be there to pick you up. Okay, thanks. I'll call you on... Um, I'll call you yeah, 10. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Yeah, that's Morris. My friend Morris is a reliable man. Uh, Morris has got... Issues with his land, like everybody, um, <clears throat> he's in a slightly better position than I am uh, as a trustee. I'm a trustee on our land that um, 
Port Awanui in Rotoria, right on the beach, up that way, at the end of the road. And I can't even get on my land. I can't, I can't even get on any land. It's about 25 blocks of land, some big block. I can't even get on any of them. Just from Wairau to Apotiki to Tikaha, Omayo, uh, uh, Potaka, uh, Tiaroa, East Cape, Tiki Tiki, Whakangiangi, Awatere. I'm on blocks all over the place and Wairau. <coughs> <coughs> I'm on blocks all over the place, but I can't get on one. That's all the 69 years this year that I've been trying to get on land as a, an original because the trustees are not original landowners. They're trustees put there by the Crown New Zealand. Now the British Crown, I'm expecting them to put me on my land. You see? That's the hardest thing I've ever faced in all my life. <coughs> and with my family going against me at the same time. <coughs> I said, you know what I'm going to do? Now that I've got this foreshore seabed thing sorted out with this Admiralty flag, I'm going to attack them from the sea. I'm going to come from the sea in. I'm going to build my place in the sea. There's plenty of land in this ocean. I'm going to sit out there, above the sea. There, way away from anybody and make some power, and then they'll have to buy the power and pay premium for the power for all the people who follow the Moai and the king. You see? And this, the authority that got them on these lands in the first place. Can you see the logic in what I'm saying? I'm not the only one that can't get on our lands. I'm not the only one being affected like everybody in the world, by the same queen, thug, pirate, that people love her so much that they don't realise she's been screwing them all these years. <coughs> <coughs> and she don't know who to abdicate to because they're in a big fat mess. And this country, New Zealand, is in a big fat mess as well. With three political parties that can't seem to gel with each other because they're miles and poles apart. With Winston Peters coming out of nowhere, he's, 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 his News and First Party was just about gone out just with him. And all of a sudden, it's come back as running the whole show <clears throat> from nothing. That's not democratic. That's, the people didn't vote for that. Just, they're making political decisions for themselves and their own private <coughs> investment interest business. <coughs> Where did this cough come from? So you see, they're only looking after themselves. So we're going to step in and sort them out. With this last who year I want to go to or meeting, I want to go to in Titi Marae. I've, I've been there enough times, I, I think this, I'll make this my last time. And get on with it. Because we're going to frame laws. Uh, for the Whakaminiga, that's, Whakaminiga is, is, is down on the king's side. It's going to be cut off from the queen's side, on this side. The king's going to cut off from the king, queen's side and dump her in the sea, where she came from. <coughs> <coughs> and we're going to, um, I'm framing the laws now for the Moai Crown, King William IV Trust. That's the business in, in Auckland, in Te Unga Waka. Marae Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. Okay? That's, that's completely corporate against the corporate thugs with this corporate flag. It's our corporate flag. It's nobody else's. It's a Ngāpui flag. Full stop. Because the Ngāpui and, and, and the Moriori, the Kokara Ngāpui Paramount Chief, and the Moriori <coughs> Manukau <coughs> Paramount Chief of Rekuhu Country or Chatham Islands. Waikari was given by the Maoris. That's not the name. They took it from here, there. No, it's there, here. Manukau there to Manukau here. Hauraki from Hauraki there to here. Uh, and all those Maori names that have come from 
<coughs> uh, Chatham Islands. The British have got those titles, right? They've got those titles. They put that Chatham Islands and the Moriori's title of Manukau from there to here. And they claim New Zealand from that Manukau over there to this Manukau over here. Because those Moriori were coming here all the time. They, they were the closest to the island looking after this place. Nobody else. And then the Cook Islands came along, <coughs> joined up with them, <coughs> and then these other Tahitians came from uh, Motiti Island and from Makuisis and all the other islands, and they came and slaughtered this lot of Moriori's to get them off the land. Because they were too lax and enjoying life and nice and healthy and fat and mutton birds and all those sort of things. You know, so they had a leisurely life with no sweat. Them and the Cook Island was peaceful. It was peaceful when the Moriori was here, but it, when the other ones came, <coughs> when the other natives from the islands came here, <coughs> they started intermarriage and fighting each other for land. And um, then the war started, then the British came along and had a war with them and cleaned them out to where we are now. So the British are still the legal owners here above all the other titles here that are under land. And we are the partners to the British. Fortunately for us, Tirawakato Wharehere Manukau sold his lands and back in 1820, not Hongi Tirawakato Wharehere in Manukau from McCambridge in the, the Waikato region, Hamilton. <coughs> That's his pa down there. <coughs> That's his history. I've got all the history. And so he had no choice but to sell the land through Captain William Simons to King George IV, 1820 to 1830 period, when King William took over. King William IV from 1830 to 1837. So that period from 1820 to 1834 of this flag that we cut off from there, boom, cut right off. We used the laws and framed the laws right up to 1837 <coughs> back to King William III and King <coughs> uh, George uh, IV, right? King William, King William, King William III. King George III, the father of King William IV, King George IV, and King Ernest Augustus I. So now we have a king, Ernest Augustus V, as our reigning monarch of Britain, UK. Now, no one can succeed to his title because he's already the king of Britain, UK, which there is nothing with England anymore. There's not going not gonna to be a king of England anymore or the Queen of England. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone into the EU Parliament where she's gone and the Westminster. So there's only EU Parliament, the biggest uh, um, uh, organisations in Europe, uh, uh, it's the EU Parliament, and in Britain, the Westminster Parliament. Those two, and they're trying to shut down the Westminster Parliament with the New World Order. No, we are the New World Order, this flag that made all the commerce in the world and the banks and the money and all the buildings and everything, the developments, <coughs> came out of this king. <coughs> so we're taking hold of our control here in this country and seizing the land back the same way as the British seized the land back off the titles in Kororarika and blew the place up. So we're more or less blowing the whole place up again and reissuing the titles inside this Maui Crown, King William IV, title, trust, the corporate side. <coughs> the Whaka Mininga had no corporate. They were still trying to get the upper house of parliament going for years. I've been in it for over 20 years. Trying to get off the ground with the upper house to make the upper house work. It never did function because the Maori people were not the right people to do it. They were invention of the Crown Corporation of New Zealand and New South Wales. So that's the end of it. It just couldn't function because the British wouldn't let it. <coughs> they were waiting for us. <coughs> the original native surnames, full stop, not these body 
Maori surnames. You have to investigate each surname to make sure you haven't got the cart in front of the horse. Otherwise you're going to end up in a Maori party and a mana party. Gone. And the Maori land court. Gone. You see, it, it wasn't made to last. It's just like the US dollar. Not made to last. It'll fizzle out. And the UN fiddle fizzle out. Everything that's been done by the Queen and the Rothschild banks will fizzle out. And this flag and this writ warrant, writ of control and position of the King's law and frame laws will demolish them all. <coughs> With the acts of King William IV, 1830 to 1837, 1984 pages, with nobody that has altered them. They're not altered or tampered. We still have them in a raw state to hang anybody who gets in the road as a third party. Everybody else outside of what we're saying with these frame laws, <coughs> <coughs> my crown memorial, King William IV crown memorial, land patents, <coughs> this is a third party. These are the two parties. Contract. Private. Nobody's business. Okay, so that's what I'm doing now, and I'll just show you on my site where we are at. I've just made, what do I say? Just go to um, the video I just made. Um, that one there. I'm glad this video I just made of our hearing, the magistrate court hearing, native magistrate court hearing in Epsom, Auckland. It just came out because Dion, <coughs> Dion um, Walker. Uh, made a, a long video and I had to compress it twice to cut it down from 10 gigabytes down to 3.6 gigabytes he did that and then I cut it down again <coughs> to 3.14 and it's taken forever to upload there's no way he could have uploaded it at the rate it was going um, it was quite impossible it's taken all night to, to, to upload it uh, so, I'm just um, uploading it. Now, I'll show you what it looks like. Here. There. <coughs> I'll just open it up. Man, it's hard to open up. Here it is. <coughs> there. <coughs> Just show you a bit of it. <coughs> Where's the volume? Can't find the volume. My computer's slowing down. Volume. The bottom is not working. Volume. I can't see the volume. Anyway, that's that. I'll show you the <coughs> the uh, frame laws. The frame laws is here. 
turn that off. I'm going to turn that off. Where did the volume disappear to? Gone. Okay. We'll go to the... Um, this is this is the f laws I'm framing of King William the Fourth. I'm started with the writ warrant, writ of execution, control of possession of King's land seizure, property arrest warrants. This is on John Key, and so we're starting from this first. There's our two kings here with the eight point star. That's King Ernest Augustus, reigning monarch, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, and Alte New Zealand and Pacific Islands. <coughs> there, that's King William the Third. That's his eight point star municipalities. He put that together, right? That's where this eight point star on our flag came from. <coughs> on our on our uh, King William Fourth flag, that one there, this one here. Okay, that's our Moai flag there with the Moai, the pyramids and Giza, and uh, Nubians are uh, our DNA, my feet are the same as theirs, my DNA is the same as theirs, and our eating habits and everything else. That's our dark red cross of the Marae. Okay, so there's Hongi Heka uh, here, the Tahitian um, Cook Islander chief, paramount chief, 1830, and that's Te Rawaikato Whare Manukau to the right, the Moriori from Reku country or Reku Island. Charamalas. <coughs> King William the uh, Third, creator of the Bank of England and the pound note that gave to us. Right, we've got that. So those our kings here, and King William the Fourth here, and his crown and anchor. <coughs> crown and anchor. All the seals up here. That's the High Court of Admiralty in London. That's his seal here in the middle here with his horse in the middle of the. Eight point star, and his crown on the top of his head belongs to King William the Fourth, right? And there's the eight point star right here on King Ernest Augustus the Fifth. He's uh, 63 years old this year, 63 or 64, something like that. Okay, that's our oath of office to those kings, <laughs> and then we go down through all this uh, part for Simon Brent Roundtree and. James Pierce Brown of Cook Street, we're going to lock them up and seize all their belongings to pay for the fraud and corruption of that land title they're sitting on and seize it back into those paramount chiefs. There, there's the Waitangi, <coughs> Marae, King's Bench Native Court, open, uh, opened that up with Kingi and Hohepa Epiha here and also Willie Peta and uh, a few others that were there. So there's John Key on the subject of the court hearing in the Native Magistrate Court in Epsom, Auckland on the 29th of September 2017. He was tried in front of the chiefs there. <coughs> Proclamation was set <coughs> by the Whakaminia, uh, Bandi Waitai, Hiruini Karaka, Manahi Parapara Mohini and myself or John. Okay, so he's in the dog box. If you see your name and your photo inside these boxes of for treason and wanted, then he is libelled in New Zealand now and he is liable because Ian New Zealand he's a director inside that company and he's the chairman now of the ANZ Bank is now liable. The ANZ Bank in Auckland, my bank, on Queen Street will now get the bill debt on top of John Key's head and the bank, right? We're, we're, we're charging the land underneath the bank now because this man has been made a chairman of the NZ Bank last week. That's in October, uh, round about the 18th, 19th. Okay, so he's, this, all this declaration of war is against him. All the list of things. <coughs> he has committed crimes of church and state and also treason against the financial investment interests of the Paramount Chiefs and the public of New Zealand. He has defrauded them, put it that way, with his Panama Papers and also with uh, giving Hillary Clinton $13 million of taxpayers' money here for her 
terrorist organization and now she's gone to bits and he's going to bits as well um, for that he can't get away with it he can't get away we're advertising this for a long time <coughs> and the fact that that's David Lindsay Mackey right there the judge that signed uh, sent the signed documents to him and he has not acknowledged it through Kirsty Irving uh, his secretary has received it on YouTube uh, the um, debt against John Key. 970 million trillion trillion pound note because it's the Queen's debt that he's upholding inside the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Grand Jury Court there. Right? That Waitangi Marae and the ship of Admiralty standing hard fast on the land is our title with that flag flying on it. Okay? <coughs> decoration. That's a decoration of war flag. This flag here is a decoration of war flag, right there, decoration of war. That's what it means. It's a bank flag of war to make business, and the pirates are using it. And we're taking it off the pirates at Waitangi, inside the Waitangi National Trust, which is run by Peter Paraune, the, uh, the uh, kūpapa Māori. The Māori themselves are the biggest enemy of themselves and the whole country. They have libeled the whole country. <coughs> this is a trillion pound debt notice against each person a name that has uh, is a third party to a two party contract between these two chiefs and the British Navy. Right, these two chiefs, uh, Te Rawaikato, Farahiri, Manukau, on the right here, sold New Zealand, not uh, Hongihika. Te Rawaikato, Farahiri, did that because he's got them. Manukau title to this country. That's a story that hasn't been told. There's the declaration of war. Here's, here's what we're charging John Key with and everyone else who's third party. Treason, economic terrorism, fraud and deception, conspiring to commit unlawful acts, murder, kidnapping, theft, intimidation, crimes against humanity, crimes against the environment, enslavement, wrongful arrest and conviction, unlawful seizure of lands and property. I was with all this lot going on at the time of 2002 when this was put together and the meaning of it was declaration of war. That flag is a declaration of war and that's what the Maori government started with. I joined them in 2004 <coughs> just prior to the <coughs> um, um, foreshore and seabed. I went to Wellington into the parliament with my claim, my own claim, and with Mohi Manukau's claim, Y121, I had a new claim and um, from our Portikirua Kiwaipu area at uh, Uetaha, um, uh, Paramount Chief of <coughs> um, Te Araro, uh, Tikiti, Waipu uh, District Boundary. Okay, so this is the stamp I created uh, for the um, Whakameninga. Paramount Chiefs, and there's King William with his eight point star on him to the left, and uh, here we have um, Tira Waikato standing there with Hongi Hika and his spear, and um, uh, Thomas Kendall, Kendall, Bishop, and to the right the Admiralty flag on the ship on the treaty grounds in Waitangi. That's our authority right there. Okay, that stamp, when you see that stamp on any document. It's our authority that no one can change. Okay? <coughs> the other contracting partner is the Queen and the Maori. This one is the Moriori chiefs, the Cook Island, the Tahitian, and the king over here, King William IV. Okay? That's, that's the difference between this contract and the other rogue, corrupted, fraud, fraudulent um, title contract. <coughs> so we go down here into those two chiefs on this trillion pound notes, they're the ones that are um, we're using as our benchmark. Now there's the 970 million trillion trillion pound note with um, um, King Ernest Augustus V and eight point star you can see on his coat that I'm wearing on my head, uh, right up here, there, is there, okay? And that's the death note against the Queen, the Rothschilds and you end all those that I've named in here as debt against them and John Key and uh, this country 
the NZ Invest and Intuition New Zealand Limited and Waitangi National Trust. They get this bill and the Queen Elizabeth uh, herself, uh, a company with that name, Queen Elizabeth II, Buckingham Palace <coughs> um, um, and so forth, all listed in here. NZ Bank was issued these notes as proof of YouTube video evidence that the notes were legal and received by the manager Julie Sowell so well, from Hawani Kakiwano and now to seize the land 77 Cook Street as in affidavits because and YouTube videos now because the police and land proprietors and their land conveyancing lawyers failed to produce deed title that refutes the Manukau Land Company title. Maui Crown State for coming our 13 Paramount Chiefs in the 1834 met with Captain James Reddy Clendon, HMS 42, <coughs> British Okeato native land title he conveyance in his native court the Whakamininga Hapu native surname descendant chiefs transferred to Titi Marae Po Whenua and Tauranga Terra memorials on this land transferred to Captain Clinton British ship of Admiralty on the Waitangi Marae grounds memorial title to King William IV King's conquered lands of New Zealand entirely commercially as one British King's native chief two-party private contract memorial land transaction investment interest title. There you go. This is the amount for the land itself at Cook Street, 2.715800 billion. Okay, that's just for that 1.4 hectares of land. That's it. We make the rules. <coughs> Here. <coughs> that's the Moriori title to New Zealand country. Okay, that's the Moriori. I put that together with Mohi Manukau. It's got a lot and TP number on it. That seized the whole country and put it into that. Nothing anybody can do about it legally. So that's uh, John Martin, um, chief of the Royal New Zealand Navy. He gets a bill of of a hundred trillion on top of his head and his organisation for ignoring us and not coming to uh, Kororareka. To um, they normally came there every year, but they didn't this time. The last time, two, six, 2016, on the tenth of March, he failed to turn up. And so he has failed us here as a Navy, so we're going back to the British Navy to sort them out. Okay, and down we go. I'm just going to the frame laws now. Here, here are the frame laws, starting from... Oh, hang on. Go past there. Go past there. That's all been done in Te Unga Waka Marae in Auckland. Epsom. Right, that's the end here. <coughs> that's the end we, of the hui we had in Auckland and Epsom. Then I take it to to Timurai, and here we are in Auckland, the um, Tiunga Waka Marae Native uh, Magistrate Court. Now, I put that there and our legacy to um, Te Rawakato Wharehere Manukau transferred the land to Rewhere for Manukau here. Right, so this is a deed of receipt that um, Manukau, Referefa, here's his name here, Referefa Manukau, look, I'm putting it there to connect us straight back to 1820. I have <coughs> received from Rogan five pounds, I will repay him, this to him, when we receive the payment for our land, Ue Tawa. Ue Tawa, that's the marae in, in Pukekoe at Waiuku. Pukiko is the name of that land. Referee from Monaco. See, <coughs> he is the seller connected to uh, his ancestor um, on this state here. In 1862, Referee from Monaco was alive. He connected himself through the British title to his ancestor. Terawakato Wharehere Manukau from Cambridge in the Hamilton region of Waikato um, and he's selling the land to Rogan. <coughs> See, I have received, he got five pounds from Mr. Rogan, right, the Rogans married the Manukau's. See, so they were inter-married um, between the Rogans and the Wanoors in the East Coast, Dick Rogan and John Rogan. Uh, in 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 the Kaipara, in Helensville, 
I would all uh, need to meditate. Cool. All this was going on, right? This is where this was done. But they transferred to Auckland in 1862 because in 1834 everything was in Helensville. Then they transferred it down to Auckland Centre and the BNZ Bank came out of the old oil bank in Helensville where these Manukau's were. Okay, so there, this this is proof that Rewhere for Manukau's only name is on the title of this Pukikoi <coughs> land. <coughs> okay, I have received from Mr. Rogan five pounds. I will repay this to him when we receive the payment for our land Uetawa. See, he sold the land, and Pukikoi is the name of that land. See, the whole of Pukikoi belonged to Refa Refa Manakau, the inheritor of his ancestor, Te Rawaikato Whare Here Here Manakau, one of those chiefs. This chief, this, this is his chief over here. I'll go back and show you. I'm showing you this there over here. That's, that's, that's his descendant. This one on the left, on the left, right? That chief, where's my pen? I'm putting, I'm, I'm pointing out here. Look, there's Refa Refa Manakau, in the time here <coughs> of King George, before King William here, King George the Fourth made the deal with this guy, not Hongi, this guy, and this guy. Um, um, Thomas Kendall, Bishop, okay? So that connects us straight to the sale of the land, and this is the bill, 970 million trillion trillion pound note from that date right till now of a commercial contract <coughs> as him being the commercial land owner. He had no choice but to sell the land because the British were going to confiscate it anyway. So there we go, people. I'm just telling you the truth, and nothing but the truth will help me, God. The deeds of title is clearly here on the record, for the record, in 1862, that Refa Refa Manukau traversed the land from um, Mangatauteri in, in his ancestors' land, because he took over from them, uh, up to, that's in uh, Waikato region of um, uh, Mangatauteri Mountain, uh, Pa site of Te Waikato for Hele Manukau, Cambridge, Hamilton, New Zealand, North Island. And this guy took over as a direct bloodline, descendant, male line, dominant. And there it is, people, for the record, <coughs> to tell you that this man was a commercial land owner selling the land that he owned of Pukekohe, the whole of Pukekohe area, the whole place, to one Rogan. <coughs> <coughs> Mr. Rogan, for five pounds, and he will repay the sum which when we received the payment for our land. So it was a deposit. It was a deposit to buy the land, right? A lot in DP of a British title. Okay, well on we go. Film still running. So there's the eight point star on um, Ernest Augustus. He's wearing it. He has the legal right of inheritance to King William the Fourth, and there's King William the Fourth sitting on his horse of on dry land, and his ship of Admiralty in the background behind the horse. <coughs> the title and his crown belongs to King William IV and his crown coronation and his two chiefs that are us. Here's um, Te Rewaikato Wharehere to the right here. Okay, So this is our legacy people and the Constitution Act we're going under 1852 still. The 1846 Constitution and the 1852 is our Constitution with this framing of laws. The framing of laws from these acts of King William IV, 1830 to 1837, enforced laws over the New Zealand government, Crown Corporation, corrupted, fraudulent politicians, courts, police, navy, lawyers, barristers, judges, churches and state, 
Crown agents singled out as private company, companies, natural men and women, trustees, CEOs, directors and managers charged, managers charged with defrauding the public of New Zealand and its commercial landowners, the Paramount Chiefs at Kaikohe on Wednesday the 25th of October 2017. We passed those, <coughs> um, um, those resolutions and now I'm framing all these laws. Area of practice, federal litigation. So I'm following the logic of uh, the federal state of Australia, <coughs> which is still coming under the King's uh, prerogative powers. Debtor, creditor, law, money, judgment, fraud, third parties, and Leon's product details. So there we go. We've got count one, count two, count three, collecting money, judgments, priorities, and procedures. So we, I'm picking any of these to go up against John Key and those landowners of uh, Cook Street against this pound note. So we can carve off bits of this pound note that's against the whole establishment in Westminster and EU Parliament and the United States of America and everything connected to the Queen as liable to everybody. Now John Key has libeled the Queen and everybody else in this pound note. John Key, this pound note is on your head at Titi Marai on the 28th of October 2017, we are passing these framed laws here in Kaikauhi <coughs> um, on, on uh, the 25th of October 2017 before it goes to Titi Marai so I can bill the Crown in New Zealand while they're still fresh as a unworkable three-party government that's got Winston Peters pulling the strings in it, okay? So it's going to pull itself to bits and this is going to run right over the top of them. There's nothing they can do about this because it is a superior law against their inferior lower house law because the Whakamininga is the upper house of this country that Bundy and Manahi and Hiriwini Kraka and myself, Hawani Kahiki Wānoa, four paramount chiefs, legal, legitimate and an authority straight to Britain Westminster Parliament, our partners, the British Navy, Royal Navy, uh, First Lord of the Sea, uh, Philip Jones, Sir Philip Jones. So judgment debtor, we've got judgment creditor here, that's us. Judgment creditor, just highlight that a bit. Well, I'm just putting this together, only two days left to go. And the judgment debtor, right here, okay. <coughs> John Key and the, the, the landowners of Cook Street, Take notice, on this video I'm citing you again and again and again. You've got three notices from me in person, delivered, you've, you've done nothing about it, and just shrugged it off. You can't shrug this off, not with these chiefs. They are the real legal landowners of this country, and it's up to them to seize the land back. With me, the fourth paramount chief. Okay, it's up to you to, to, to defy or reject this in our court, not in your court, in our court, and the British watching you. So I'm going to add some more onto there. Okay, that's what I want to say. And we'll just head off back into these documents. And I'm just going to uh, put upload the video. Um, I'll, I'll let you hear a little bit of it. This, oh, no, the volume is not working. Oh, shucks. I don't know what happened to that. Show desktop. Where is the... Oh, my controls gone. Volume. Oh, I don't have to do this volume. I'm coughing again. <coughs> this just started up this morning. Only half an hour ago. The volume on. Custom. Restore the icon behaviors. Oh, where's it gone? All those icons are there. <coughs> I don't know what's going on. Locked, locked taskbar properties. Show. Just go. Just two bars. New two bar. Oh, the mine. I was going to just play a little bit. So I'll just push it along further.
So this is a long video. It took a long time to upload it, but it's got everything in it. I was waiting for my minutes from Georgie Jobs. He, she hasn't given me the minutes, and so this is going to come up at the meeting in Hokianga. I've been waiting for those minutes so I can take the Titi Marae. So now I've got to make all the minutes out of the videos. Where is the volume gone? Volume on. I don't know what happened to it, it just disappeared. That's annoying. <coughs> Show process of... oh no, never mind. Okay, so that's all I want to show you. I'm, I'll turn this off now and finish off this video. <coughs> so, I want to say this. Between myself and Bunty, my Tai, and Manahi Parapara Mahini, and Hiruini Karaka, uh, we are distan dis distancing ourselves legally and legitimately, legitimately from the Maori government and the Confederation of Chiefs of 1835. We're cutting them right out. I'm making a statement in front of the world that Maori belongs to the Crown of New Zealand and New South Wales. It has nothing to do with the Moai Crown, King William Four Trust and Britain, UK and these Paramount Chiefs and myself. It has nothing. It has its own contract in Queen Victoria and also with Queen Elizabeth II and their kings, which have corrupted the whole justice system in New Zealand, the worst I've ever seen. And I'm pointing this out that they are debtors now in that 970 million trillion trillion pound note for everything back to 1820. Right back to 1820, we're debtoring <coughs> one trillion pounds as a birth certificate that's been spun on the stock market on the Queen side and the United States of America and all the fighting and wars going on, this flag, they've used it because the Governor General here and Waitangi National Trust have given them the consent to use it. They're going to get the bill to Peter Paroni, Brown, Mr. Brown, Paroni's nothing, it's made up, honky tonk, out of thin air, name, just to hide yourself, Peter Paroni. All these years, you've been sitting on that marae, hooking all the money out of it for yourself and your own private investment interests. And the Crown Queen. Right through the world. It's been run from your racket inside that marae. I can say that because I went in there to open it up back into our jurisdiction of Admiralty and that ship on that dry land. We're going to seize the land. These paramount trees are going to seize the land <coughs> to Timurai and take over the whole place.